Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hollywood Racks Destination Hitch Bike Rack and how it fits on our 2021 Mazda CX-5. This is going to be two bike platform style bike rack capable of supporting two bikes up to 35 pounds. It's going to be a pretty entry level bike rack so it doesn't have a ton of features. We'll get into it and see how it works. First thing I will point out is that this rack does not have the ability to tilt away with the bike loaded up. So the first thing we're going to have to do is to get our bike off. First thing I want to point out before I do that though is that we do have our primary point of contact being these rotated padded clamps. You can check this one out on the front of the center mast. See that they do rotate and they are padded so they protect the frame a little bit. But we still wouldn't recommend using this with a carbon frame bike because it does make that primary frame contact and could potentially damage it while we're driving. To get the bike off, we'll start with these straps. Just press this gray release, get the straps off. You can see that there is a nice rubber molding to protect the tire as well. We'll come back here, get our second strap out, and now we'll get the primary point off as well. We'll get our arm around the frame of the bike just because it's going to move now, and we'll press that gray release to get this off as well. And now we can get our bike up and away. I'll just set it off to the side. And from here you can take a quick look at the rack and see that it does have that shape where it angles down on both sides. That's just to help it accommodate different wheelbases, in our case up to 48 inches. I'll replace the strap. And before I do this one, I'll actually get that center mast out of the way, but I do want to point out that it does only support a maximum tire width of up to three inches. Now I can get that center mast out of the way, like I mentioned. We'll just undo this hand knob here in the front until this catch plate releases, just like that. And now we can fold it down. These cradles are very likely going to get in your way, but we can actually use one of them to our advantage. So if we slide this one up on the right, we can use the strap on it to keep our center mass down and secured, just like that. And then I'll replace this front strap, and now we can get some measurements to see what it's like to live with this on your vehicle. So, from the bumper to the furthest point back, it's going to be adding on 25 inches. So doesn't stick out very far at all, pretty compact overall. As far as ground clearance goes, because it does angle down on both of those sides, like I mentioned, I'm going to be measuring from over here, and that's going to give us a ground clearance of 15 inches. Pretty good rise in the shank for a vehicle that sits relatively low. We get tons of ground clearance, so I'm not going to be worried about that going over hills or curbs. We can fold the rack up if we want to save a little bit of space. To do so, I will just get this hand knob on the other side, unthreaded, just like that, and we'll fold it up and then replace that knob. So the holes will line up on the shank, find where those are, replace that knob, and now we can get that new measurement. So now from the bumper to the furthest point back, it's going to add on 14 inches, again, just because of that shape. So overall, it doesn't stick out too far at all. You can maybe manipulate this center mass just a little bit to get it folded down a little bit more. As far as how close it sits, there, it's going to vary a little bit. But from here, you still have about three inches until it's going to make contact with this point, which again, could be subject to change a little bit. From here, I just kind of want to test out and see if we actually will be able to open up the hatch, but just fold it up. And it looks like we do get enough clearance to do so, which is a nice little feature. So we don't have to take the rack completely off or we we'll leave it in the down position to get into the hatch. Also from here, we can see that it does not cover a ton on the back of our vehicle. So license plate is still really visible. Backup camera, you might be able to see the rack in the very bottom, but it's not blocking much at all. Our lights and our rear window are also super visible. So really compact. Again, this is just kind of an entry level way to get two bikes up to 35 pounds where you need them to go. I think it does a really good job at that. It stays really compact. It works really well. It will make frame contact. So again, avoid those carbon frame bikes. But if you are looking for an easy entry level way to get those bikes where you need them to go, 
the Hollywood Racks Destination 2 bike rack is definitely a really solid choice. This again was just a quick look at the Hollywood Racks Destination and how it fits on our 2021 Mazda CX-5.